Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a piece by the career illustrator known as Peter Morbacher. And in this episode, we're going to talk about rarity of color. We're going to talk about the fiery flow of implied motion. And then we're going to end it off talking about the sky as a very divine symbolism of immortality. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this piece, you're likely going to be caught with the incredible sense of motion here. Of course, there's almost no uh, straight lines present within this piece. And the result of that is a a very energetic visual experience and so we see this here you know the kind of constant flow here and those constant curved forms it creates a very kind of flow and melting visual experience for the viewer so it's a very energetic introduction to the viewer and it really catches your eye with absolute ease and so we see here you know there's a lot of diverse color within this piece but primarily what draws my eye is the is the color of fire here. Of course, we have the red, we have the orange, and we have the yellow. And there's also this kind of, the the form of our subject has this kind of boiling form. And the the, the flow and the boil kind of trails off in a, in a phenomenon highly reminiscent of fire or the smoke that plumes away from the fire. So that really also, that combines with that, with that diverse color as well as the constant curved forms to also reinforce that sense of energy present within this piece. So both of those, I think, are incredibly important. And we also see, you know, this piece, the, the majority of the color within this work is kind of this gray-white. And so that foundation is the perfect backing to really kind of add a, a neutral backing to emphasize and accent this multicolored uh, color palette here. And so with that in mind, you know, you see how the rarity of color inherently accents or inherently elevates the importance of our subject. You know, it stands out against that kind of gray-white foundation with absolute ease. So it calls our attention, and it may even denote some degrees of divinity as well. And so we see our subject is set in the setting of a sky, and this is very, very important because the sky is an ancient and even archaic symbol of immortality. Of course, the sky is the realm of the divine, and so with that in mind, you know, we see this, this sense of divinity present within this work and we see you know with that in mind it feels like we're looking at some type of omnipotent being and the omnipotent being is kind of that all-knowing figure and of course it 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 exists in the realm of the divine which is the highest of heavens in that immortal sky and then it also you know we see this kind of artifact here and it's hard to say exactly what that artifact is, but it definitely draws our attention from this really striking dark on light contrast. So there is something about this which which is important and it kind of calls our attention. To me, it, it, it really reminds me of a crystal, although it's not translucent or anything like that. So I don't want to say that quite for sure, but it is what it reminds me of. And so you see... You know, there's this this sense of motion within this work, of course, in that constant curved form. There's also this sense of motion in the way that it goes out that way. And so there's this, you know, there's this sense that we are all moving towards this direction. And with that in mind, you know, you can't help but see the arm which extends and the artifact within that. So there is that kind of constant sense of motion, but also kind of that, that, that pincer form. Uh, going towards the right side of the canvas there. And so, you know, all of those really create a very energetic and a spiritual, even divine visual experience. You'll see our subject's arm or bicep here kind of rest right there and then the other one. So it's a really unique perspective and it's kind of like, it's almost like a, a divine Dementor, you know, if you guys know what I mean. You know, kind of that, that roiling, boiling cloak of our subject. It just... It implies such a high degree of motion, and then that combines within the immortal sky to denote the divinity to a very high degree. So now we're going to take a look at Peter Morbacher's other works, and we'll see what we can learn, see if we can draw some connections, and look at his stylistic profile. All right, so here we are. We're looking at Peter Morbacher's uh, public Instagram page here. Of course, earlier I was thinking that he is the creator of Angelarium, which is the Encyclopedia of Angels. If you look at his shop, there's a lot of like tarot cards that that really incorporate his art in an incredible, incredible way. So take a look at some of his style here. Of course, we have the piece that we showcased here today. You know, there are these sense of divinity in almost each one of these pieces. So, you know, that's impossible to miss. Kind of a very large halo here that reminds me of that. And... You know, he combines the fantasy, he combines even some elements of horror. He combines fantasy, horror, uh, sense of divinity. Such a such a diverse, diverse display coming from this artist. You know, he has the really the really light pieces, such as this, 
this one or such as the one we just looked at. But he also has a lot of the dark arts as well. The one that drew my eye mainly was this piece here. And so, you know, with that in mind, of course, his stylistic uh, profile is really, really iconic. Of course, he has that melting flow form. Very iconic style c coming from him. But even within his iconic style is a really diverse display of, say, kind of genre. A di very diverse display and a very hybridized mix of that as well. And so just some incredible pieces coming from this artist. I wanted to show you guys exactly what he's working on. And he does a bunch of things. Uh, check out his shop. You'll see, it, you'll see it at the top there. But yeah, just some, some incredible works coming from this artist. Very diverse display, even though it's still within his kind of iconic style. And he's displaying a lot of different elements and a lot of different scenes with absolute ease. So I thought that was really, really cool. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. We talked a little bit about implied motion. We talked about color-based rarity. And then we also about, uh, talked about some of the divine degrees within this work. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out more Bacher's other works. Like I said, he's doing a bunch of really interesting stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Polar Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.